Here we are at Wonder Chips, a fictitious but successful communications chip company. Now, we're going to have the rare opportunity to peek in on engineers and managers as they plan for their upcoming T1000 chip project. And due to the miracles of modern video technology, we'll be able to hear not only what they're saying, but what they're thinking. Hi, Rakesh. Hi, Sherry. Are you finished evaluating the Super Wi-Fi yet? Yes, I am, and it's looking really good. I can't believe you were thinking of getting the T1000 controller done without it. Yeah, I know what you mean. Like, you find that pipeline control bug in a day. I cannot imagine we finished that in a month in a previous project. Yeah, and secondly, T1000 controller is four times more complicated than the previous projects, so it's going to have exponentially more corner cases. And I have put together a bunch of slides with the evaluation results. Uh -huh. I'm compiling find the stats and the schedule projections. Look here. The old tool, you see the performance. Boy, Rakesh has really done his homework. But he seems so nervous about his presentation. Surely this is a no-brainer decision for management. What do you think? Uh, great. Good luck with your meeting today. OK, Rakesh is all ready. Let's see how his meeting with the VP of Engineering goes. Thanks for coming in today, Rakesh. Please begin. Well, <clears throat> I'm here today to present the evaluation results of a new EDA tool that we believe will have a huge impact on design verification at Wonder Chips. For the past six weeks, I have been evaluating Super Verify on our project, and I would like to discuss some of the results with you. Uh, let's first show where Super Verify sits in our process. Uh, Super Verify being a simple We didn't have all these fancy tools when I was designing chips, only schematic capture and good old-fashioned directed tests. I could remember every gate in my design and which page of the schematics it was on. Engineers today are really spoiled. They always want the latest and greatest whiz-bang tools. Gosh, she has a ton of data here. I wonder how long this is going to take. I tried to populate the cells on where Super Verify was better than our existing tools and where the existing tools kicked Super Verify. The red, red cells are where Super Verify performed worse than the current tools and the green. I still have to review the board slides for tomorrow. Let me speed this along. Orkesh, this is all great stuff. I do have a couple questions though, and then let's speed this along. What about training? How long do you think it's going to take to ramp up the engineers? It's going to be about a month per engineer, but we could stagger it. Good grief. That would be awfully disruptive to the schedule, wouldn't it? Going over the schedule improvements, as you can see in the snap chart, I can't wade through all this data. Rakesh is a great engineer and I'm sure he knows what he's talking about. Hmm, all this looks pretty speculative. I'm going to test his conviction and get to the bottom line. Let's see if he really has to have this new tool. Competitor and help us in the long run. Rakesh, one final question. Is there any way you can get this done without this new tool? Any way? Well, I guess there's always a way. Given enough time and resources, I mean, in theory, we could do the whole thing manually. We would have to partition it into 104 sections, one per port. Of course, there would be a big risk of corner case bugs. We might have to debug some of them in lab after first silicon. I'll need an army, but I guess it's possible. Well, it's theoretically possible. Well, Cash, the budget on a T1000 is going to be really tight. I'd hate to trade off engineering resources for new tools. I think we should stick with the traditional approach. It worked for the last. Oh, there's a budget issue? Gosh, I didn't realize that. I guess if we just can't afford to upgrade our process, there's nothing I can say to change that, even though it could make a big difference to the T1000 project. Thanks for coming in today. Great job, Rakesh. Thanks. Rakesh failed the test. Michael didn't need to see all that data. He was looking for strong conviction, and he just didn't see it. Okay guys, so we're here to uh, work out the schedule for the T1000 project. Okay, I'm going to be, uh, after we do this project schedule, I'm going to be uh, giving this as part of the project proposal to the exec staff meeting later this week. Rather than have a schedule dictated to us, what I'd like to do is come up with a real bottoms up schedule okay. that we can all agree on and then I'll take that to the executive staff. So let's get started. I've uh, already prepared a little bit for my part.
What else? Oh, hey. yeah, so, guys, I'm Nate. so okay. we're just to your part here. We're talking about the ALU calibration. Oh. Okay. We put 51 days down for your team because that should be plenty, right? Well, you always do that to me. I, mean, I don't understand. Do you have any idea how many blocks are in there? Well, there's only. I mean, 51 days. Yeah, my mind my or what? What's the right number? It should be at least 150. No way. You guys all feel like this is a yeah. realistic schedule for a cross party? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Ask Dexon though. I mean, he's his block. Yeah, actually. Yeah. Dexon, what do you think? You think the cross party looks okay here? Huh? Dexon. <laughs> you know what? You need to shut your laptop off because we're not going to go through the assumptions again. So about 12 weeks for architecture, RTL, and verification. About 10 weeks for physical design. Weeks total. And assuming that all of these assumptions hold, I think the schedule looks really good. What do you guys think? No, okay, yeah. okay, so I'm going to go ahead and capture this and take it to the executive staff meeting. Thanks, guys. Let's see how that bottom-up engineering schedule went over with executive staff. Okay, team, I've got some good news and some bad news. The good news is the execs love the feature set and the performance targets for the T-1000. So the project is a definite go. Oh, cool. cool. Yeah, cool. Okay. The bad news is, well, as you guys already heard, the T-800 project is slipping by three months and we're getting a lot of competition from Ultra Chips, and um, uh, the Christmas holiday is coming soon. So with all of that, uh, we're gonna have to move up the T-1000 samples to deliver by October. No. Oh, yes. 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 This year? Yes. Oh, oh by the way, uh, we also need to beef up the memory substance. No. no. Oh, it's over. This yeah. is faster. Unbelievable. I know as a team we can do this. We can do it if we work together. And I'm psyched. Yeah. What do you guys think? You guys with me? Good uh, luck, Will. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. So do you think we'll be able to appeal to this idiotic? Schedule? <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, it will be done when it is done. Uh oh. Looks like the engineers have already resigned themselves to missing the schedule. Not surprisingly, exec staff doesn't have a clue. I guess the engineers just weren't up to a confrontation with management. Let's check in with the team to see how things turned out. Fast forward, it's June next year. But Kavita, you're already six months over schedule. Marketing is trying to hold the fort with our customer cool system. So just tape this chip out. It's too soon to tell. Verification still isn't converging. And we, we at least need to see the bug rate drop off before we can tape out. What about paid overtime? We're already doing that. The engineers are working 14 hour days. We're catering in breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We've got daycare in the evenings. Just hire anyone. Buy anything that you need. Just get this chip out. The irony is, now Michael's willing to spend money to fix the problem, but it's too late to implement the tool and methodology upgrades that Rakesh proposed months ago. Looks like I'm not going to be seeing too much of my kids this summer. 